Hi, I'm Rob, one of the Coat co-founders, and today we're going to be going through how to paint a UPVC front door. So this is a door behind us. Um, if you've got a wooden front door, it's a slightly different process. Um, there's a link below to the video for painting wooden doors. Um, but with UPVC, we're going to go through step by step, start with a bit of a clean, light sand down, a prime. So we'll take you through how to um, prime it just to make sure that top layer of paint sticks. Um, and then we're going to be applying two coats of Coat's exterior eggshell paint perfect for outdoor um, and works with UPVC wood, bunch of different surfaces. So yeah, we'll guide you through that whole process step by step and hopefully, yeah, make a really good job of transforming this door. Cool, so step one, just like painting any surface is you want to get it really nice and clean, take any dirt, debris off the top so that that paint sticks and you get a really nice finish. Um, I'm just using a normal cloth and some hot soapy water don't need anything beyond that really it's not in too too bad nick so i'm going to give it a quick wipe down um, let it dry and then we'll be moving on to sanding after that So we've given the door um, a nice clean down with some hot soapy water, don't need anything more than that. Um, next step is going to be to give it a sand. So you really want to create a sort of roughed up surface for the paint to stick to, or the primer in this case to start with. Um, so we've got this little sanding block, it's quite good, it's got lots of different types of um, grain of sandpaper. So we're going to use a light to medium um, grip sandpaper. Um, so we'll do that. I've also loosened the door furniture. So from the other side, just loosen that up um, and we'll take these bits off. Um, just so we can clean around them, make sure the paint kind of covers all the way. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get on with sanding it down. So with a UPVC door, what we recommend is using a primer. So the reason for that is unlike a wooden door, the surface is quite smooth and non-porous. So using a primer, something like Zinza 123, which is what we're going to use, um, just provide a surface that that paint can stick to. So we'll give it a coat one to two hours to, to dry. And then we're gonna have a really nice smooth surface that our coat exterior eggshell can stick really nicely to. So it's gonna be much more durable and long lasting um, if we do it this way around. So we finished sanding the door, priming it now. It's ready to take the first coat of uh, Coat's exterior eggshell. Um, so we've gone for a color here. It's a custom color we're creating for um, this month. Uh, you can order it, just message our customer service team if you really like it. There's a really nice olive with a kind of gray undertone. So it's gonna look really, really good um, on this door. It's currently white. Um, so adding a bit of color. We'll need two coats, again, just for maximum durability, um, especially when you're out in the sun, you've got sun rays on it, but it'll last um, for years and years. So I'm going to use a brush for the edges and then a little foam roller just to get a really smooth finish on the kind of flat surface of the door. So yeah, I'll give it a mix and then I'll get on with putting the paint on. So when you're painting the front door or anything outside really, always make sure you pick an exterior product. So they're specifically designed paints, much more durable, much more withstanding to kind of UV rays and British weather, frankly. So make sure you get that. Um, one coat's gone on already, as you can see behind us. It's looking a little bit patchy. Don't worry about that at this stage. Um, it's always gonna be the way once we've primed it, we've got the white primer on underneath. I'm gonna apply that second coat in about two or three hours it's a sunny day today so that'll dry off really nicely second coat on and it'll give it that completely uniform finish that's going to last a long time so let it dry off and we'll be back to paint the next coat so we've finished up with that first coat now a nice thin even layer of the coat uh, exterior eggshell product don't worry too much if it's looking a little bit patchy at this point the second coat will cover that straight up especially when you're moving from a really light color like white into a dark color you'll get that but the second coat that's what that's there for so we'll move on to the second coat get that done again with the foam roller nice smooth finish put the door furniture back on and we'll be good to go one thing to watch out for when you're painting doors especially if it's got moldings and kind of corners and things when you're using a brush just make sure it's quite light um, lightly loaded so not too much paint on there and just watch out for drips as you go because if they dry and go hard you're going to need to sand them down so 
much easier just to go really, really smooth, really, really light and just watch out for drips while the paint's wet. Cool, so we're all done with this front door transformation. So right start to finish from kind of that clean down, initial sand, bit of a prime because it's a UPVC door, so giving it that really, really good base for the paint. And then two coats of Coats exterior eggshell product in this really, really nice uh, custom green color that we created. So you can get that color, just drop us a message. Um, I've peeled the tape off, put the furniture back on, and yeah, this is gonna look great for years and years to come now. So it stands up to UV rays, rain, shine, the lot. So yeah, hopefully you've got the tools, the tips, and the step-by-step -step to give it a go and transform your own front door. <laughs>